All right, guys, so I've been getting a few questions about missing brushes on Fire Alpaca. And I finally figured out the best way to get them back, and I'm hoping that they all work for you. So the first thing you want to do is go to your brush menu, where you have all of your brushes. And as you can see, I've already um, used this a few times myself, the brush one and brush two. Um, those have been used on a few of my drawings. But I'm going to show you how to make one of your new brushes and hopefully get back a brush you're possibly missing. So the first thing you'll notice is that there's a new page, a duplicate, and a delete. Um, pretty much it's the same thing with the layers. Just press on uh, one of the three and you can delete, make a new brush, or duplicate a brush. No, that was a little out of order. But anyway, let's click on the new brush area. And here you see edit. It says edit brush, but it's really making a new one for this. Uh, you can name it. You can tell... Uh, you can have what type it is, the width, the minimum width, all that. Uh, this is a pen, obvious, obviously. But if you click on the little uh, drop-down area of the type, especially with the newest version, you can make any kind of brush you have, an airbrush, an eraser, a watercolor, and a blur as well um, as the pen. Um, and from there, it's pretty easy. You just make your brush, edit it how you wish, and how it'll, it will allow. The only other thing I'm going to do in this video really fast is um, talk about this thing called the correction tool. Uh, I never had one on GIMP, so I never bothered to use one. Recently, I have decided that I was going to look at it, and I really quite enjoyed it. Um, I know that um, pretty much every other program has a correction tool a lot like this. Um, it's pretty much just a study for your um, uh, pen tablet, I'm sorry. And for your hand on your pen tablet or your mouse or whatever, and you can choose on you can choose whatever number you want. Um, zero is the least amount of correction. Nineteen is where mine goes up to, and that's the most amount of correction. That's how you can draw a perfect circle, or as close to perfect circle as you can get. And other than that, that's really about it. So, um, thanks for watching and thanks for asking all of your questions. I hope to get a few more tutorials out as Fire Alpaca continues to update and I'm hoping for a few new tools to show up too. Uh, uh, keep going to the website and dropping some suggestions. I'm pretty sure that they'll start listening. Alright, bye!